In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with duplicates in Excel. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate a few possible strategies that you can adopt. The first and most obvious way to remove duplicates is to use the built-in Remove Duplicates tool in Excel, which is on the Home tab, on the Data tab, I'm, sure, I'm sorry, and uh, right here in the Data Tools group of commands, Remove Duplicates. The way it works is um, you need to select your data set or click inside your data set and then click on Remove Duplicates. Excel will automatically recognize your data and uh, you need to decide which columns uh, determine what records are duplicates. For example, in this case, if I leave all of them checked, there will be no duplicates. I'm going to click OK and uh, there were no duplicates. The reason for that is because column ID has unique values for every single uh, record. So we have a bean counter here that uh, gives a unique value for every single row. So in order for me to remove duplicates, I need to decide which columns should be excluded from duplicates in order to find duplicates. And in my case, I'm just gonna remove ID and click OK. And sure enough, 19 unique values remain and six duplicate values were found and removed. That's a pretty straightforward built-in tool inside Excel. One other approach would be to not remove duplicates, but to identify them. And uh, most people would think about conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is a single button on the Home tab in the Styles group of commands. You can simply select a range, in this case only one column, click on conditional formatting, and uh, there's a direct rule called duplicate values. That rule allows you to highlight duplicates or format the duplicates conditionally, or even unique values. You can choose unique or duplicates and you click OK. So now every value that has a duplicate in that range will be highlighted with conditional formatting. Now the same way here, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, duplicate values, and you can change the style that you use for that. And again, duplicate values, click OK. The problem is uh, this tool is highlighting duplicate values found in a range so each cell that has a duplicate value somewhere in the same range will be highlighted. Like in this case, I'm going to select the two-dimensional range and highlight duplicate values. And let me change it into a different color. So now all of these uh, green cells, they have a value that's identical somewhere in the same range. So here if I type 6, for example, all of a sudden it becomes green because there's six here and six there. It is a duplicate value. Now that is not going to help you very much if you want to uh, work with records or rows of data. So let's see what we can do uh, using conditional formatting with rows of data. One approach that you can experiment with is uh, to create a concatenated value and then apply the conditional formatting to the range. Let me show you what I mean. So here, what I have, I have a column that I would like to use as a duplicate identifier. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply create a formula here that will concatenate all the columns that I use to determine which record is a duplicate. And uh, I'm going to use the concat function, which is a newer function. You can also use concatenate uh, function if you wish. Concat is easier. I can make a selection. All of these columns will determine which record is a duplicate. And then I'm going to accept. Now, what happened here, this is actually an Excel table. That's why the formula was copied into the entire column. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that column and apply to that conditional formatting, uh, highlight cells rule, duplicate values. And just like in the previous example, I'm just going to apply uh, some 
color to duplicate values. I'm going to use custom format in this case. So each one of these green cells uh, telling me that the row has a duplicate, has identical value extracted by the concatenation function. Of course, I don't want to see all of those concatenated values. I just want to see the highlighted uh, cell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a very special format to hide those values. I'm going to go to uh, select the column, go to number formatting, custom, and there's a special code you can use semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. That's the formatting code that will uh, hide the value in the cell. I'm going to click OK. And you see that the value is still there, the formulas are still there, but I don't see it. But what the green color is telling me, I have a duplicate record. So this is a really interesting approach. Of course, it does not highlight the entire row for you. It just shows you uh, which one of the rows has a duplicate, duplicate combination of, uh, of columns in it. So, but how about if you want to highlight the entire row? Let's take a look at that. For people who work with duplicates in Excel, it is quite common to sort their data in order to group records. Then it is more obvious which ones have duplicates. Like for example, if I were to take this data set and sort it by uh, the first name. I'm going to right click and uh, sort A to Z, for example. So now I have grouped records. Of course, if you want to really get duplicates um, sorted correctly, you would probably want to sort by multiple columns. You would go to the data tab, sort, and then select multiple levels of sort. So first name, and then I'm going to add a level and sort by last name. Add another level, sort by job title, uh, add another level, and sort by uh, business phone, and so on. You can sort it, but you need to sort by all the columns that will determine if uh, your uh, records are duplicates, like that. And of course, if you look at the data, you will see that uh, the records that are duplicates are kind of sorted together. Of course, this one. Uh, is not completely a duplicate. First name is a duplicate, last name, job title, but the city here is different. But uh, the data is basically, the bottom line, the data is grouped when you sort it, so it's easier to see. But uh, what if you want to make it even easier to see? You can apply conditional formatting to that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the range of my data. And this is a little trickier. But uh, watch me and uh, learn, watch and learn. Uh, I'm going to go to conditional formatting, new rule, and I'm going to apply a formula-based rule. So that is uh, a little bit more complex rule than a regular show duplicates uh, preset rule. So here, what I can do, I can compare the current row with the row above, values in the current row, with the values in the row above. I need to exclude the columns that have unique values for every single record. So I want to make sure that I include only the columns that uh, have duplicates in them. I like determine if a row is a duplicate. So here's uh, the formula. I can use the concat. And uh, how about I concatenate? I'm going to exclude uh, column ID, but I need to start in the same row where the active cell is. I'm going to select it like that. The uh, relative versus absolute references are really important in this case. I will make it absolute column references and relative row references. Now I'm going to compare that. I'm going to type equal sign. So concat all that row. And I'm going to compare it to the concat concatenated uh, value from the row above that row. So I need to work. I'm using the titles because my active cell is actually in the, uh, in cell A4. I need to compare the current row where the active cell is to the row above the current row. And again, I'm going to use F4, F4, 
absolute column reference, relative row references. So if the combination of the current row values is equal to the, the same as the combination of the row above values, I would like to mark it with a different color. I'm going to click on format, select uh, some color, click OK, and uh, uh, sure enough it's working. It's an interesting approach. Of course, in order for this to work, the data first of all needs to be sorted by the columns so that the duplicates are grouped. If the duplicates are not grouped, it's not going to show much. So that's another interesting approach. And again, the really important part and the really important limitation here is uh, that uh, the data needs to be sorted. If I sort it by ID again, let's say I've sorted smallest to largest, then I don't see duplicates highlighted. They will be highlighted only when they are grouped together because we are comparing the current row to the row above. And uh, the first row that has duplicates below it is not going to be highlighted, but the rest of them will be highlighted. So if I uh, sort it again, I get my duplicates. One way you can extract unique values, which is kind of the same as removing duplicates, except you're not removing duplicates, uh, is to use uh, the uh, pretty old advanced uh, filter uh, functionality in Excel. So let's see how that works. We have this range here of uh, different values. We, we know there are duplicates. We want to extract the unique values there. This range above is going to be the so-called criteria range. So the advanced filter works like this. You go to the data tab and then filter has this one option that says advanced. So we are again on the data tab. Advanced filter is right here. So what I do usually, I click somewhere in the data set and then uh, click on the advanced filter. And the advanced filter tool uh, requires you to provide some information. So the first, uh, first I'm going to copy to another location. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it in place. Uh, so the second is my list range. The list range is automatically selected in my case, but you would need to select the list range in such a way that is excluding those columns that will make your records not duplicates. So I need to exclude the customer ID. By default, it might actually include the column, but uh, you need to make sure to exclude it. That's why it's better to have the data grouped uh, like so. So I want to uh, also spe specify the criteria range, and that would be simply the range above. And I don't have any criteria typed in for this example, because I want to really just get the unique values uh, from this entire data set. And copy two, I'm going to copy it into a different location, for example, into cell J5 in my case. And the important part is to cho choose unique records only. If I don't do that, then the entire data set in this case will be extracted, which will be, you know, kind of like doing nothing really. So I'm going to click uh, unique records only and click OK. And now what I got, I got unique records, which is kind of a static way to uh, extract values, right? If these values change, then this will need to be updated in some way. And the dynamic way to do that is to use the brand new uh, or relatively new uh, function that is available in Microsoft 365 Excel uh, called Unique. Set. It's really easy to use. Of course, your data needs to be uh, structured properly. Uh, you need to make sure that all the columns that determine if the row is a duplicate uh, actually kind of combine together for convenience. So here's how it works. I'm going to, I'm going to just put it right here. Equal sign unique. So the function is unique. So if you can extract the unique values, you pretty much know uh, which ones are, you know, duplicates. It's kind of removing duplicates dynamically. So unique, I'm going to select this entire range, excluding the column A. And uh, I'm going to press Enter. So what the unique function does, it is actually an array uh, function. It returns 
uh, not a single value, but a, uh, an array of values. And that's why we get the formula spill, kind of a new behavior in, in Excel. And uh, here we got a unique record. You see that each one of those records we have in the data, in the data set, we just extract the unique one. So let's say if I change one, let me make a little change here. I'm gonna, instead of Anna, I'm gonna type Sam. And all of a sudden I got Sam. And uh, let me do another one. So let's say uh, Bernard, I'm gonna type uh, John. And all of a sudden, I got all the unique values, including, including John. So now we have a dynamic extract from our data set. And that extracted data set is showing the unique records from our bigger data set. So that's another approach for you to consider.